I'm Todd, this is my son Chris, and this is Frank. Frank was, uh, I guess, my dad's creation. Uh, he started about 1970 from a totaled out VW Bug that he'd acquired. Um, they wanted to make a toy. I mean, we have to get older, we don't have to grow up. And this is what it's evolved into, was it 40 years later? Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, it was a 1963 Volkswagen Beetle, and uh, we call it reincarnated um, into a pan buggy. Everything that's here was pretty much second hand, bartered, um, built. Most of it came out of a scrap yard, um, recycled metal, low budget. I guess better than no budget would better describe it, huh? Basically no budget. So one of the really cool things about Frank is when my grandpa built it, like Dad was saying earlier, it started off with just the bare bones of what you had laying around and having to make things work. Like if you look at the roll bar, this hoop right here, and then that hoop right there, and that one right there, that was all done with water pipe and fittings because that's what we had laying around and it wasn't money to go out and buy material and buy proper tubing to be able to get things done the way it should be. We had to uh, basically use what was laying around and water pipe is what we had laying around. I guess with its needs and stuff though too is how it's evolved um, for its different needs at the time where it started off as just a play toy, take it out, beat it up, it broke, you either fixed it or if you needed parts, well, you shoved it in the barn until you got the money or found somebody to trade something with to, to be able to fix it. About six years ago, seven years ago now, we decided we want to kind of trade up what its purpose is because it's hard to find places to go off-roading anymore without getting sued or thrown in jail. So it's kind of more tailored to the street now. It's a street buggy instead of being a dedicated off-roader. It was the, the big thing we wanted to do was stay true to its heritage and stay true to its roots, but still modify it to where we could use it in the, the today world where, like you said, we couldn't go out and off-road everywhere. I mean, there's only certain places you can do that now and they're not really tailored to two-wheel drive vehicles. So one big thing is sticking true to the heritage but making it to where we could go out and do things like the June bug rally or go blast around town on the way to a car show and pitch it through turns and it plant on the concrete. Take it to the Little River and run it as a drag race, drag car. Um, and watch people's faces as you pop a massive wheelie. <laughs> yeah. It's still all the original vehicle of what my dad started. It's the same design, same dimensions, same everything. We just kind of did a 2.0 2 with stronger materials, um, more robust stuff, a little more uh, geometry, triangulating, triangulating things in so that we could really raise the safety level up um, and things we had to do to be able to run it down the track. It was my dad's. My dad built it, my dad started it. And believe me, I'm sure he never dreamed that it would ever become what it's become.